Can an ordinary civilian helicopter be converted into an attack helicopter? Yes, this was been made. Here is the Shahid 285. Derived from the Bell 206 Jet Ranger, this helicopter is used as Iran's light attack and reconnaissance helicopter. In this video, I will talk about the production story and technical features of Iran's Shahid 285 helicopter. And finally, I'll talk about why Iran is bluffing about military technology. Before the revolution, Iran bought about 100 Bell manufactured Jet Ranger helicopters from America. Iran benefited a lot from these helicopters, but after the Iran-Iraq war, they started to have spare parts problems for these helicopters. The Iranian military industry started to gather these helicopters, and the Shahid 278 first appeared in 1997. In 2002, this helicopter was introduced. Of course, everyone knew that this helicopter was the Bell 206. The Iranian military industry continued to develop this helicopter, and in 2009 the Shahid 285 appeared. This helicopter was different from the Bell 267. The fuselage of the helicopter was reduced, a machine gun was added to the front, and a sling was added to the sides of the helicopter. It was obvious from its appearance that this helicopter was a very primitive helicopter. The machine gun in the front was fixed, and on the sides of the helicopter there were rocket pods. At that time, the world public was making fun of this helicopter, but Iran continued to develop it. Iran announced that it has developed three different versions of this helicopter. Version A with unguided rockets and one machine gun. Version B includes anti-tank missile and partially movable machine gun. The most modern version, the C version, was developed for the Navy and can carry two anti-ship missiles. Thanks to the radar in the C version, it can attack with anti-ship missiles from a distance of 25 kilometers. So what are the technical characteristics of this helicopter? The Shahid 285, manufactured by Hiza, has one crew. This helicopter is 11.84 meters long, 2.78 meters wide, and 3.47 meters wide. Empty weight is 820 kilograms. Maximum takeoff weight is 1,450 kilograms. This helicopter has one Rolls-Royce production 250C20J turboshaft engine. This engine produces 420 horsepower and can accelerate the helicopter to 240 kilometers per hour. A version of the helicopter is equipped with a PKMT light machine gun. In other versions, NSV machine gun is available. Shahid 285 has 14 unguided rockets or 8 guided anti-tank missiles. The Navy version has 2 anti-ship missiles. According to official Iranian data, the Shahid 285 may indeed look like an effective light attack helicopter. However, this helicopter is a clone of a 50-year-old civilian helicopter. It has no radar, no avionic systems, and in addition, it has a fixed machine gun. These features are insufficient for a helicopter by today's military standards. So why does Iran take such initiatives instead of having helicopters or planes with highly technological equipment? You are right about one thing. Since the United States has imposed an embargo on Iran for years, it cannot transfer technology from either the United States or Western countries. But there is no embargo imposed by Russia or China on Iran. Why doesn't Iran buy the plane it wants from these countries? Iran's complex governance structure prevents this. Iran has multiple armies such as the official army, revolutionary guards, and paramilitary organizations, and the defense budget is divided among these armies. When the defense budget of Iran, which already has a bad economy, is divided, the needs of any army cannot be met properly. You can mock Iran's tanks, helicopters, and planes, but there is something to be taken seriously. Iran spends most of its defense budget on its nuclear missile program. Iran's nuclear program was launched in the 1950s with the help of the United States under the Atoms for Peace program. I will soon make a video about Iran's nuclear missile program. Thanks for watching.